Hey, have you ever got excited looking at a flight, spaceship, a ship, or any automobile industries? It's terms like an auto braking, automatic braking controls, control lands, obstacles recognition, computer vision. The term sounds familiar, right? Do you know? Do you have? experience how the UX designs leverage from the aviation and defense industries. It sounds good, right? So excited? Yeah, let's get into it. Hey, big hi to everyone and it's me Aristo. Today's video I am going to talk about how the aviation and defense industries leveraging the UX skills. Evolving of a digital technology, the aviation and defense industries are getting transformation to the digital from analog. They are replacing the analog to the digital. So here, the UX skill is leveraging and taking in a huge part. It's playing a vital role inside the industries. Do it by doing softwares and software designs for the AVs and the defense manufacturing industries. The last five years, I have done so many studies about the aviation and the defense. It's not only the theoretical and I completely put myself into the practical way. I got a chance to meet the pilots, ship captains and try to understand so what are the roles, how the designers are involving in these industries. So based on that, based on my studies, I articulate my studies into the U designer user guide. So you can check out my below link. I have given a, my entire user design guidelines for the aviation defense. You just check it out. It might get a good idea for you. Hey, I just want to give a basic stuffs where which you need to know about that aviation and the defense industries. Have you heard about the cockpit? The cockpit is nothing but the space where the pilot operates and controls the aircraft. Cockpit contains so many instrument panels. Each panel is very important to operate the aircraft. The cockpit is evolving year by year and the very latest the economics is the key factor which is the latest cockpit design. So this cockpit is having a completely replacing the analog to the digital. Ergonomics is the key factor in a cockpit evolution. The economic, the cockpit is the vital interface between the aircraft and its crew. It will provide the important information between the crew and its pilot very conveniently. Based on that information, the pilots, the crews will take necessary decisions. As a human machine interface technology emerged, which enables the pilot to use their senses and movements to control the complex machine in which the humans are not naturally accustomed. And the limits of a human processing information may be exceeded by increasing the more data required. So which means the warning indicators, the air traffic data links, navigational, nav navigational information, meteorological information, etc. Therefore, they require well-designed display is necessary. After so many years and trials, the evolution of cockpit is completely changed. The very latest one is the class interface cockpit. The class interface cockpit is having the large computerized screen displaying information. The term is called the FMS, Flight Management System. And this class cockpit is completely designed by the MFT, which means the multifunction display. The multifunction display is on electronics, it replaces the analog. This device surface having a capable of providing a information from the multiple sources and different references 
and this device displays a group of data one at a time or in a compact manner. So here it is the UX designers are required and they are leveraging the UX skills. You know one thing, if you have failed, it impact a huge environment and it can be a life critical, it can hurt human lives. It, it is a massive reputation and a financial burden for your organization. So it's a very, very challenging profession for the UX designers. The system operates from the life critical environment are often governed by the strong legal regulation on the operation organization policy. Therefore, if you are a designer, you might receive major opposition will be from the legal team. Yes, will upon you. They will impose liability upon you. Yeah, that's right. And the liability is a serious issue over here. If something goes wrong, someone will hurt, hurt or die. Or it could be it would be in a massive reputations and the financial burden for the organization. You are the responsibility to fail in your design. Therefore, they decided the designers should not get failed whenever they design this MFT because it's a life critical environment. So they created the human factor design guidelines, which is developed by FAA. Federation Aviation of Administration of United States. All designers should follow these guidelines. These guidelines evolve year by year and the very latest version 2016 they released. There are seven factors that designers should follow based on the human factor design guidelines. The very first one is simplicity. The second one, the consistency. Third one, standardization. And the fourth one, safety. Fifth one, user centered perspective. Sixth one, support. And the seventh one, maintenance. These are the seven factors you should follow. You have to strictly follow these principles whenever you will start your design for this life critical system software development. Very another thing, you should focus the interface animation. The interface animation is playing a vital role over this designing this MFD. Because each and every information should be animated and each animation should communicate in a different perspective and which provide clear information and clear indication to the pilot. Based on that communication, the pilot should desire pilot should take necessary actions and they will take decisions. The very next thing you just focus the design eye position. Designing a high position is a vital aspect, another vital aspect of the designing a cockpit. It's also known as the eye datum or a dub, which means design eye point reference, where which implies the pilot to weave the data with a minimal head movement. It should not distract the pilot when they're providing the information. Let's say example, when your pilot is takeoff, the information should be very clear and within a minimal moment the information should displays on the cockpit. So we have to be careful while designing that eye position moment. Comes to the UCD process, you have to follow the basic fundamental of the UX and there is a certain standard method they are following here and this standard method is provided by the Hewlett Packard. Let's see, the very first one needs analysis second one requirement specification third one conceptualization and the fourth one prototype development and test and the fifth one product evaluation these are the five phases you have to strictly follow when you are involving in this design process each process is approved by the legal team you might get an impose from the legal team but you have to leverage your complete UX skills to design this process. The very next, interaction interface. The interaction interface is the challenging part over here. So, the aeroplane is playing a vital role over here. Each interaction element, your screen layout or any button, you should be accurately measured. It's a pixel perfect. If you are doing some mistake, it's 
defer the decision making so while you are making an interaction interface you just follow the you strictly follow the design guidelines which is provided by the ffa move on to the next the mft menu organization the mft having a lot of information in the they providing in the digitalized so the interaction interface having the so many menus the menu should be on a more potential and the effective and ease of use for operating the aircraft each menu have to give a huge impact and it will produce the more data the group of multiple data which is acquired from the different sources comes to the visible interface the icons symbols and the colors are the major major role playing inside this design process the icons and the symbols should be on the very concrete they should convey the intended information to the pilot so each icon should be on a more complex it should not be in the complexity and it should be in the concreteness of the information comes to the color part they are following the seven major colors first one the green white cyan black yellow and red these are the seven major colors they are literally following and the each colors having in the different technical meanings it will convey the pilot to the indications it will give some sign for the pilots in the very next the voice commands is the dawning process over here and the voice commands you should follow the vui interface fundamentals which mean the primary the voice the auditory the visuals the tactiles which enables the which enables the command between the human and the devices you just follow the vui design guidelines you just google it you get lot of guidelines how to design the vui even it's i have posted it on my blog that's it about this aviation and the defense manufacturing companies how the ux skills leveraging to manufacturing their instruments now you got some better idea about how the ux designs are playing a fundamental role in this life critical system industries do you know what the glass interfaces is going to be the in the next tech world industries there is so many research is proving the replaces the mobile phones with the glass interfaces then this is the future then the ui also leads to the glass ui let's get ready for it hope you got idea about life critical system and how this aviation and the defense industries are manufacturing and they are leveraging their software development with that ui design skills that's it about if you want more information you can check it out the link below you can see my blogs i have posted this entire design guidelines over there i hope this is very interesting topic for you and the very next the next video i will come up with a very interesting topic and until then keep smiling keep practicing bye bye from aristo